in this video we're going to go over episode 2 of the Bootcamp Basics for the Roland MC707. Let's turn it on. Let's start with a new project, so press Project and turn C4 to New, push down the knob. So we have drums here selected. Let's turn up the volume. Now I'm going to press Shift Sound and we're on this pad. Let's press Enter. Then select instrument, let's go to preset, go to the right. Now we can go over to the different kick sounds. So let's choose that for the kick, press enter. Make sure if you don't press enter, it will revert back to what it was. Now let's press the snare, press enter, arrow right, scroll down. Choose the hi-hat, same thing, arrow over, and then just listen to different sounds. So we'll just use that one now for the clap. So let's just choose that one, press enter, rim shot, let's go in. Okay, let's exit out. Let's arrow over to MFX. Let's press enter. And now, let's change the type. Hold down shift. We're going to turn it to overdrive. We're going to turn down the drive to about 40. Then we turn tone to 30. Let's just make a really basic drum beat here. So I'm in the hi-hat. We're just entering in the notes. Putting in snare. Change the cutoff. Now we're going to press knob assign. We're going to change the different settings here. C2 is set to decay, so I'm going to turn it all the way down, negative 64. We're going to turn it to release. We're going to set C3 to coarse tune. Let's scroll down more. We're going to change the amp type to built-in. Now we're going to turn the low gain up a little. So now we have those settings I can record motion in. So let's hold down record and play with the settings. If I want to change it or remove it, just hold it down and turn. And also hold down, let's say, let's add a note here, hold it down. I can turn the sub step on. So that gives it a ratchet sound. If I hold down a pad and I press it on the pad here, I can make it weaker or even weaker than that. So there's the two options if you hold down the pad. Otherwise, it's just going to be a hard hit. Let's record more of motion. I can also hold down on a note, change the mute percentage. That's the conditional, so it's a percentage that it'll play the note or not. So I can switch between all these. So I can change percentages that way. Now if I want to take this pad and copy it over to here, and if I press function and up, it says copy pad. I go over to this pad, function down, paste pad. So now it's the same. I can press shift and measure we can change the scale to 1 32nd, for example. Also record motion. And then we can also change the mode to random. So we can even make it slower. You can hear some craziness there. Let's remove all the motion. 
Sandra again. Let's switch over to the tone track. Now what we're going to do is go right into edit sound. We're going to go over to the filter. We're going to turn the cutoff down about 700. We're going to go to knob assign. We see here mod C2. That's this knob. I'm going to change that to resonance. Now C3, we're going to change that to system control one. We're going to go over to matrix one and it'll say one from system control one. It says two. Now let's change that all the way to the end. So just hold down the knob and scroll all the way to the end. Now we're going to go backwards until we see TVF depth. Let's change the depth to 63. Now we're going to go to the filter envelope, turn sustain all the way down. We're going to change decay and release to 100. We're also going to go to amp. We're going to turn sustain all the way down, turn release up to about 700. Okay, about 700. So next I want to go to the metronome settings. I hold shift, knob assign, it says utility. We're going to go in the settings, scroll down. We'll scroll down, we see count in step, it says 16. So it just counts in one bar. Metronome type, I have set to type four. I turn the level down to 21. So let's exit. I'm going to hold down function and press tempo. It'll say metronome on. Let's press play. Let's turn down those drums. You can hear a little click. So right here we see there's no clip. So I'm going to create one. I can hold down shift, press any of the measure buttons down here. Now we can see step length. I'm going to turn that down to four. Let's pick some notes. I'm going to turn the tempo down. Let's go into the sound. Let's turn release down. Decay down. So decay is now around 400, release 450. Let's going to turn down that cutoff. Let's hold this down and then turn up reverb. Let's just crank it. Let's go into reverb. Now I'm going to scroll in and change it to warm hall. Let's turn it up. I'm going to hold down select here and press up. And it goes up an octave. Now let's clear it. Now we have quantize off. So if I enable record, I can play in notes. So it plays it off the grid. Now let's delete it. Now we have quantize. Now if I press shift quantize, we'll see the settings. So it's on the area it says 30 to 70. Clip, let's turn it all the way up. So that changes the quantization of the sequencer. So if I turn that up, it's all going to be highly quantized. So let's exit and play in some notes. Let's turn it down. And let's play the pattern here. And turn up resonance a little. And then we turn up the envelope. Turn up resonance. Let's go down. We'll add that low note on the first step. We don't need the metronome anymore. Function, tempo, and it turns it off. Let's turn up the drums. Transpose this so note and then change to a different note. Just 
changing the cutoff here. Let's turn down the envelope. Let's change them. So I selected it. Let's go to the measure. Let's change it to forward. I'm going to hold down record and turn this. I'm going to go back, Let's change the scale to 132. So let's add some variation to this. So I'm going to hold down function and press measure right. Now I just duplicated it. So now when I record motion, it's going to be two bars long. can also half press function measure back and it halved it so it's back to that just single so it's duplicated again let's change the values let's turn down the drums now if we're in clips here we can see we're on the first row and it shows the two clips ready to play. We can switch between all those views just by pressing here. So row 16 all the way down to 1. Now if I turn value here, it's going to go up or down. Knob C1 just moves the view so we can look over other clips. Knob C2 scrolls horizontally. If we go all the way to the right, we select the entire row. C3 changes the cursor position vertically. If we go all the way up, it selects the entire track. Knob C4 scrolls up or down the clip edit menu. So if I highlight a clip and press enter, it'll enable it. From the clip view, if I press on a blank space, then it's not going to be triggering. So I can enable it by pressing enter like this. And we can see that it turned green or just pushing up here. So we have this first clip here. And I want to copy it. And we're going to go down one row paste all now let's trigger it press note now we're back into here I'm just going to erase some of these let's go higher find those higher notes where are they here's some notes let's get rid of them back up, press enter, see how it fits. Let's copy this. Let's go down, paste, all. Now this, I want to bring down the low note. Press enter to trigger it. So we have three clips here, and now I'm going to choose, let's press clip, let's choose this top one. Now I'm going to hold down shift, press measure, and scroll over to chain. Now here we see next clip, right now it's set to stay, length off. So what I want to do is go to clip two, it says length, now it's per step. Now there's four steps in these patterns. I want it to play maybe four times, so it'll be 16. So four times four is 16. Next, let's go to clip two. Next clip, let's choose clip three. Change your length. Let's make that 16 again. And then let's go down to the next clip. I want that to loop back to clip one. So let's choose clip one length. Let's do 16 again. So now let's go to one. Let's exit, and we can see where we are. We're in row one. We're gonna enable this clip. Let's press play. So it's playing four times. And turn up the drums. And turn down the clip. 
cut off the synth, maybe turn up the envelope, the filter. copy and then paste over here just the sound now I'm going to select this shift measure let's change the step length to something else and then also we're going to go to shift sound let's change it to a square wave press note going to put in some notes here. Let's turn these down and turn this up. up over here it affects all the clips let's go into multi let's change that I'll change that to time control delay turn up the feedback turn it up this part let's copy that paste just the sound now we're going to enable that we're going to shift over change the step length something different change the scale Now we're going to go in to the chain settings. Let's change that to make it go to clip one after. Let's just change it to a random length. Let's go back to clip. Let's go up. Now this one. Let's change the chain for that as well. Let's go to clip two. And then change it to an arbitrary length. Now that's just going to be playing depending on what I just entered in here. So we have different tracks playing, different clips triggering. Let's turn this up. Let's change this. Forward and reverse, make it slower. Go on and 
change that to random. 